My name is Julie Gillis, I'm a haematology consultant at NHS Highland and I work as part of a wider team involving both five medical consultants and the nursing team. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, blood cells and the bone marrow. We have bone marrow uh, which is the spongy part of our bones throughout the whole of our body and they're there to produce blood cells. Um, as part of our blood there are two components to it, the plasma which is the fluid component and then the blood cells themselves that comprise red cells, white cells and platelets. The bone marrows contain uh, parent cells called stem cells and they are uh, present throughout our lifetime and are, are capable of self-renewal and divide and multiply to produce all of our blood cells throughout our bone marrow and that includes the red cells, the white cells and the platelets. The red cells uh, contain a molecule called haemoglobin and they uh, the function of haemoglobin is carry oxygen around the body and if you're deficient in um, haemoglobin and red cells we say that you're anemic. The symptoms that you could present with include tiredness, palpitations, breathlessness and lightheadedness. The white cells are there to protect us against infection and there are many many different white cells but primarily we're interested in the neutrophils which are present to prevent bacterial infection. The third cell are platelets and their function is to help with clotting and they act with clotting factors produced by our liver to help us clot and prevent bleeding and bruising. When you come to the clinic, often we will have the full blood count results um, and film report, but we may wish to go on and evaluate your symptoms and signs further by doing a bone marrow procedure. We encourage questions and would uh, encourage you to bring someone with you uh, to listen because it can be quite a, um, a wealth of information that's provided to you at clinic.